So this is the Hollyland Lark M2. It's their newest release of a very compact, lightweight, and very nicely designed wireless microphone. I've been a huge fan of Hollyland microphones in the past, and I still use them till this day. This one has multiple different ways to connect as the receiver, and I'm gonna be showcasing that. So let's start off with the unboxing, and make sure to check out the link in the description to find out the latest pricing information and all of the detailed specs and capabilities of this new wireless microphone set. So in the box, you have this very nice carry pouch for all of your equipment. You've got a whole bunch of stickers here if you want to use this. Then you have the user manual, the quick start guide, two wind muffs, a magnetic necklace clip if you want to place the transmitter directly onto this. Everything is via magnets. You also have the TRS cable if you want to connect the camera receiver to your digital camera, USB-C charging cable. Then you also have magnetic belt clip if you want to just attach this to the side of your shirt very easily like this. And then we have the receivers and the microphone set here. So let's just dive in with a little closer look to these. Okay, so as I show you the design of the wireless mics, I'm gonna just pull up the key specifications on the left-hand sidebar. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. These are very compact wireless microphones. I'll just take one of these out. Now you can see how small this is. This is probably the size of a coin. It's very lightweight at only nine grams. And when you do wear this, you're probably not even going to feel that you have a microphone attached to your clothing. This is actually becoming a very popular choice of microphones for people that shoot with their smartphones. And in fact, if you do watch Marquez's videos when he reviews his cars on his autofocus channel, these are the exact microphones that he does use for them. And that just gives you an indication of how popular these are and how great quality audio that you can actually get from them. So you have a little button on the side here. This actually turns noise cancellation mode on when you press it, the light will go from blue to green. If you decide to use the receiver for your camera, then you have a volume gain control just there on the top. You can see the LED indicators from plus to minus to show you the levels. You also have the power button to turn this off manually. You have the USB-C port, then you have the mode button there as well, and you can also manually pair if you need to. Now with the camera receiver, this does have both mono and stereo modes. If you see a blue light, that indicates that it's on stereo mode, and if you press the mode button, it will go green, and that will go to mono mode. So it's very quick and convenient to do that. In today's video example, I'm going to give you a demo using the USB-C version, because this is a very popular choice for people that want to shoot with their phones. And of course, the audio will be seen regardless of which receiver that I do end up using. But I'm going to use it with my iPhone 15 Pro, and you can see here, this also has a little USB port at the end. You can actually charge your phone at the same time whilst using this, so you don't need to worry about the port being utilized by a wireless microphone receiver. You can just stick your power cable into that and charge your phone at the same time whilst using this, which is very convenient. Then you also have a mode button just there as well to turn on active noise cancellation. So let's go ahead and switch over to show you the sample audio test using my iPhone 15 Pro without the microphone first and then connecting this and showcasing it with the microphone attached and hopefully give you an indication of how great these actually sound. So let's get into it. Okay, this audio recording is coming from the internal microphone of my iPhone 15 Pro. As you can probably hear, it's not so great, especially when I am about one meter away from my phone and this is not ideal to start recording or doing any of your filming. Let's go ahead and now connect the Hollyland Lark M2, really compact wireless microphones, very lightweight and showcase how great these sounds when I do connect this receiver to my iPhone. Let's make the switch. Now, this is the audio coming directly from this tiny lightweight Lark M2. How much of a difference is that? This is such a high quality, very premium audio broadcast quality microphone, which you can probably not even feel when you do attach this to your clothing. It has a magnetic clip, so I'm going to place that behind my top and then showcase how that sounds. There you go, very easy. And now hopefully you can see that this is so tiny that it's not even too noticeable, especially when you are filming. And this has up to 300 meters of range. So imagine how much filming you can do outdoors when you have that much distance to record your videos. Now this is high quality. And of course, I don't have the noise cancellation mode on, which is why I have a blue light on the transmitter and the receiver, but I'm going to step outdoors and give you an audio test of how great this sounds when I am outdoors, where there's a busy road, for example, and there's a lot of cars driving by, and I'm going to turn on the noise cancellation mode, and that will turn the light green on both the receiver and the transmitter, and hopefully give you an understanding of how clear your audio can maintain, especially when you do use noise cancellation. If you're going to film indoors in a quiet room or in a studio, 
then I would always suggest keep noise cancellation off just so that it doesn't give you any type of unnatural sounds when you are speaking, especially in the dialogue. But let's go ahead and test that out and hopefully give you an idea how great this tiny microphone actually is. Okay, so now I'm outdoors and this is quite a busy road. So you'll hear a lot of cars going past me and I don't have the noise cancellation set to on. So this is how it would sound if you don't have that turned on. So what I'm going to do is in real time, I'm just gonna press the button on the transmitter. It will turn green and then noise cancellation mode will on. And hopefully you can try and hear how much of this background noise has been drowned out. Now the noise cancellation mode is on. Can you hear a lot of the cars still driving past me, behind me? So I've played back some sample tests of this. And you know, I've always been impressed with the noise cancellation mode, with the Hollyland microphones, and the Lark M2 is no exception in that case. Hopefully that does give you an idea and an indication of how great this is, especially if you do want to film this outdoors, where you will get a lot of environmental noise. Let's head back inside. So that's it guys, the Hollyland Lark M2, a very efficient, very affordable and great value for money wireless microphone. As always, I'm very happy with the Hollyland products. Can't really find any faults, it's simple to use, it's very quick and easy, it's plug and play. And hopefully that gave you a great indication of how this sounds. And I'm gonna be using this going forward for all of my filming with my phone. Any questions that you have around this microphone, as always, drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you did like this video, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and hopefully I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.